Hey, Dr. George Landis, board certified plastic surgeon. A common question I get is that if I know that I'll have to have radiation therapy and I want the deep flap, should I have immediate or delayed breast reconstruction? Well, this is a great question. If you're anticipating radiation treatments after mastectomy, most experts recommend breast reconstruction be delayed until after radiation. Radiation after tissue, also known as flap reconstruction, can create complications in the newly reconstructed breast. This breast can shrink and become firm, and this creates obvious differences in breast symmetry requiring additional surgery to correct. Radiation after implant-based reconstruction can often lead to breast hardening also, and even worse, it can lead to excessive thinning of the tissue and even implant exposure with subsequent removal. Another way of saying it is this. It is better to reconstruct a radiated breast than radiate a reconstructed breast. That can be a little confusing, so let me say it again. It is better to reconstruct a radiated breast than it is to radiate a reconstructed breast. If you are interested in flap breast reconstruction using your own tissue and you're scheduled to have radiation, you may be a candidate for a delayed immediate reconstruction. And this approach involves placing and filling a tissue expander at the time of the mastectomy and then proceeding with radiation treatments. This allows preservation of the most breast skin, which typically improves the final cosmetic result. Once radiation therapy is completed, the tissue expander is removed and the definitive tissue reconstruction is performed. I don't have a specific preference on how patients receiving radiation choose to proceed, but it's important to weigh the pros and cons of the procedure before proceeding with surgery. So here are the pros. Your breast skin is saved, and this takes advantage of the aesthetic benefits of a skin sparing or nipple sparing mastectomy. Next, there is an emotional benefit of avoiding the experience of living without a breast. And thirdly, it keeps all, the maximal number of options open. Here are the cons. There is an increased risk of complications during radiation, like infection, skin breakdown, and the need for removal of the expander, which means more surgery. And depending on the preference of the radiation oncologist, the tissue expander may be temporarily deflated uh, prior to starting and during radiation therapy. In this case, the expander is reinflated after radiation is completed. It's important to remember, breast reconstruction is not a cookie cutter procedure. Every woman is different and there are options available to meet the needs of every individual. So if you know radiation treatments will be necessary and you are interested in a deep flap, discuss your options with your doctor to decide what plan of action is best for you. All right, I hope this is helpful. Check out my other videos if you want. Be well, be healthy.